So, you're looking for some tips on how to fit your Superflex shed felt? Well, this video's for you. Hi, it's Matt Pat here from Ashbrook Roofing and Supplies Limited, and today we'll be looking at how to apply our Superflex shed felt. Maybe to your shed, your summer house, maybe even to your pet's kennel. Well, you've chosen the right product. Our range of Superflex shed felts have an excellent durability and lifespan across the range. With economy at five years, with standard at 15 years, and with premier at 25 years lifespan. An ideal weatherproofing for your roof. Regardless of your choice, the application of the shed felt remains the same across our range. Shed felt can be used as a single layer where the pitch of your roof is greater than 20 degrees. However, where the pitch of your roof is less than 20 degrees, first do lay a suitable underlay. The correct application of your Superflex shed felt will ensure the effective weatherproofing of your shed roof and maximise the lifespan of your shed felt. You can do this yourself, I'm going to show you how. Let's see how we'll fit it. Today we have a typical mock-up of a shed roof, as well as the tools and fixings that we'll need for the job. Needed today is a clean roof surface, free of dust, debris, and importantly, any protruding nails, as well as our Superflex shed felt. Here, some of the other items we will be needing, our clout nails for fixing our shed felt, as well as a suitable felt adhesive, an application brush, our tape measure, and a claw hammer. Also, importantly today, we'll be needing a Jordan, who's coming to assist me with the application of our Superflex shed felt. So, some terminology for you today. The eaves, located down here. The roof surface, or substrate. And the ridge, up here, where the sides of the roof meet the gable ends. Ensure you start with a 50mm overhang over the eaves and a 75mm overhang at the gable ends. You'll need the overhangs for folding over and securing. Because we are installing on a pitch roof, we need to be sure to start at the bottom edge, the eaves, and work upwards towards the ridge. This ensures that rainwater will run over the top of the overlaps rather than underneath them. Ensure that the felt is laid flat against the roof surface and then starting at the centre of the felt and working outward, Hammer nails through the top edge of the felt at 100mm intervals. When you get to the bottom edge, hammer the nails in at 300mm intervals. Fold and nail the corners to make it look neat. We will be overlapping our laps of Superflex felt that we'll need to ensure that our overlaps are a minimum of 75mm from the lower lap top edge. Use the paintbrush to apply adhesive to the felt laps. Now we can start applying the top section of felt to the ridge. We will need to ensure we maintain our minimum 75mm overlap either side of the ridge. Hammer the nails into the lower edges of the ridge section at 50mm intervals. Next cut through the centre of the gable end overlap and secure the edges of the felt at the gable ends using the clout nails spaced at 75mm intervals. You can tidy up your gable ends by applying a fascia board and then trimming off excess felt from underneath. Well that's it, you've done it, bob on. Thanks for watching the Superflex Shed Felt video. I hope this helps you with your project. If you want, post us a like or subscribe. For further technical advice or to view our full range of roofing solutions, then do visit our website. Alternatively, simply scan the QR code on your product packaging and this will bring you straight to us. See you next time.